Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ignite with me. We were looking at Cuba Cigars Aliados. Aliados, I think. Is that? Okay. Uh, actually, it's by Ernest Perez Carrillo. So, Ernesto, rather than says. Okay. We're going to get into this one. I thought it looked kind of interesting. I've looked at it before and I've just not gotten it at the time. But this is almost a $20 cigar when I bought it. It can be found at Vitola Cigars okay, in Tuscaloosa as per this video. Uh, we're going to see what this fella is about. You never know what you're going to find in terms of cigars. There's all kind of cigars. Sorry about that. Hmm. It's going to be tough to explain. It's kind of cold this morning. It rained pretty good yesterday, so it's kind of chilly today. It'll warm up though. Definitely something like cedar and I don't mean Spanish cedar there's some kind of taste like that here going on a vague taste of almonds perhaps left upon the palate with some spices, subtle spices. I would say definitely cedar. There's some aromatic, an aromatic nature to it. Cedar taste, I think, is interesting. I can see why it's 17 bucks. Yeah. The spice kind of builds. If you hold it in your mouth, the spice is going to build some on your tongue. So it does get kind of spicy. Yeah. It start actually it starts out kind of small, but it grows. Pretty good. There is almost no earthy taste on this cigar. I can't, I can't taste anything earthy in this instance. A pretty good cigar. I like it. I think it would be worth your time. 
If those things sound enticing to you, you might be into a spot. Yeah, I think that's all I had to say for this video. I think this one's pretty plain and simple. You know, very, very good cigar. Uh, it's aromatic. It's going to have some cedar taste, wood taste, whatever. Maybe some vague sort of taste of almonds, maybe. Very vague with spice. So, give it a try. We told us cigars. Have a good day. Be blessed.